Hello, Narf from Narf Sounds here. Today we'll be creating programs based on your own samples. And those samples could be recorded in sampling mode or loaded in as a WAV file from disk mode into sampling mode. And then we'll create a multi sample based on the samples that we're about to load in. Okay, so we've got program mode right here. If you press this, it takes you to the oscillator basic page. And we can see that it makes use of the acoustic piano as the main multi sample. So you have up to eight multi samples that you can load in. Uh, by default, it only makes use of one. And it comes from the ROM bank. And later on, we're going to create a bank of our own. It's going to be a user bank KSC. So that's what we're going to be exploring today. So here we are in sampling mode. And the first thing you'll see is the multi sample right there. It's highlighted. And this is an empty multi sample, it's just the default multi sample. At the moment, we haven't got any setup, so we don't have any samples in there. And uh, it's just called new MS, so right there, that's the multi sample. We're going to load in the samples and we're going to record a few audio clips and create uh, a multi sample of our own. So the first thing I got to do is delete this multi sample and the reasoning behind that is at the moment there's some formatting that's uh, been assigned to this multi sample uh, as a default and we don't necessarily want that so let's go to the drop down and delete ms to erase the formatting that's been done okay so before you start you actually delete the the multi sample okay so now we can start fresh So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load some WAV files into sampling mode and create assignments to keys based on that. So I'm going to go to disk and I'm going to my USB stick and I've got this folder, bad guy, and this is where the WAV files are. So I'm going to select that, open that, and I've got three WAV files that I want to assign to keys. So let's listen to WAV 1. Okay, and then you've got wave two, and I've got wave three. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just multiple select. You can press that. You can select all three and load. You can also load them one by one. So in this case, I'll just do that. I'll just load them one by one for now because I want them to be in a particular order. So bad guy one, I'll press load. And that's loaded it into sampling mode. So if I go back to sampling mode and select the sample right here, you can actually see bad guy right there. And you you may be wondering, I loaded one, I ended up with two. That's because it's a stereo sample. So there's a left and right channel. So there's actually two slots of samples in there. Okay, I'll go back to disk mode and select bad guy two, load, Okay, and in sampling, I now have four. So bad guy one occupies the first two, and bad guy two occupies this next two. And I go back there, bad guy three, load. Okay, and again, back to sampling mode, we have all six. So what I'll do now is assign those samples to particular notes. So right now, if we go to index one, it's index one of one, sample is no assign, original key is C2 and top key is C2. So I'm gonna select the first one, bad guy. Now, although I just selected the one, it's actually both samples that are selected because uh, by default, it's in stereo mode. So original key, C C2, and if you've got a 61 key keyboard, that's the bottom C note. So I'll now press the C2 note. <laughs> and there's my sample. So if I'm happy with that, I can just press create. And you notice that there is now a uh, little rectangle up there. And um, it's gone to index two. That means the C note 
has already been assigned and I am now on index 2 and I can now start assigning something for C sharp 2. Now I can also change the top key if I want it to be a range of notes that will play that uh, sample and there will be pitch changes as well. But for now I'm just going to keep it at C2. So sample, select bad guy 2. There you go. And press create. And index 3, uh, I will select bad guy 3 and go OK and that will be played in D2. So now I have three notes that have uh, samples assigned to them. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is rip audio out of my iPad and save that as a sample and assign that sample to a key. So this pretty much follows the same procedure except for the part where you record the actual sample rather than load a WAV file. So to do that we have to go to audio input and I've got my iPad connected via input 2. So here's the audio input setup and I will select left right for input 2 and the pan position will be in 64 so it's centered and the level will be uh, whatever is appropriate for that. So now I'll be testing out levels. I'll press the sampling record button and play back the audio. So it seems to be so it seems to be low. So I'll adjust the record level accordingly and increase that. Press the sampling record button and press the start stop button. Now I'll play the iPad. Okay, so now I've recorded that and I'm, I'll press stop. So if I look at my sample, I can go to sample edit. And this is the new sample that I've just created. So if I choose that, these are the uh, samples that we loaded uh, using the WAV file. And this is the newly created sample. And we can edit that using this sample edit function. So here we are in sample edit mode. And this is the sample. And um, I can tell from this wave that my recording started around here because I turned on the uh, start stop early and I actually did a bit of talking. So this is the wave that I want. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go and put the cursor to the correct position and highlight that bit and I'll listen to what it sounds like. adjust it to get to the right spot and I can audition this wave file now okay so I'm just gonna capture that bit and shorten that so that is the snippet that I want as my next sample so I've selected that range and I can go here and I will truncate that sample. So truncate and I'll cut th both the front and end of that sample and I'll overwrite the sample that I just recorded. So now if I press OK I can play back. Okay so that's perfect and I'll go back to the recording page and I've got index 4 and I'm going to select this new sample that I just created and D sharp will now play that bass line. Okay, so now I've got that. Um, I will rename this sample because I don't really want new sample as the name of that sample. So we'll rename the sample right there. Rename sample. All right, and uh, there I have it, and then I'll create. So now I've got four indexes. <laughs> and at this point, I'm ready to create uh, the multi-sample and select 
rename multi sample because we don't want new ms as the name of that uh, multi sample and let's call it bad guy and there we have it the, n the name of the multi sample is bad guy and I've got four notes <coughs> and I'm ready to save this now to save this I go to disk mode so we want to save the samples in the Kronos's hard drive and I'm back here in the hard drive and I'll go to save and at the drop down I will save sampling data okay and I will call this KSC file bad guy this file is going to contain one multi sample also called bad guy now I want this KSC file to include sampling mode data only okay at the moment I haven't created any uh, programs based on that so I don't need any links I don't need both sampling mode and links so I just want sampling mode data and sampling mode data options all okay I want everything there I won't be ticking that box and I'll press OK now that I've pressed OK I have three new files bad guy KSC bad guy user bank KSC and on top of that is the bad guy folder so this folder actually contains the samples that we just recorded in sampling mode and these KSCs link back to that folder so it's very important that these three items are always together The next thing we want to do is go to global mode and go to KSC autoload and I will add that KSC that, that I just created so add KSC and go to bad guy user bank KSC so we're not gonna add the KSC we'll be adding the user bank KSC and add so there we've added the uh, bad guy user bank KSC we'll press do auto load now Now that we've loaded our sample data, we're ready to create our program. So we're back in the initialized program. I select that, and where it says ROM Mono, I will look for my newly created KSC file, user bank KSC, and there it is. So uh, HD internal bad guy mono. So I'll select that one, and there it is. And if I play the note, yeah, I'll play the C. <laughs> Our samples are there now some people would like these samples to go on indefinitely so meaning if I let go of the note I want the sample to continue playing uh, what you can do is go to the amp envelope and raise the release values so in this case I'll put 99 and um, and the slope to 99 as well and if I press the note that'll just continue playing even if I let go of the note but in this case I'll just keep it to where it was I won't touch it because there is this note where I don't want to loop so there you go so that's how you create the program of course we want to rename that and do our edits from here we'll write the program and call it bad guy do a few other edits maybe put the picture of a choir in there so here in basic vector I will put so there you go just press record right and update the program and now we have a new program that makes use of the samples we just created and loaded thank you very much I hope you like that uh, this has been Narf from Narf Sounds please visit my website narfsounds.com and check out the stuff there thanks bye